Coming up, expect updates regarding the latest spring sports, student council news, and an IUK soccer workshop. And it all starts right now. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm Nick Kinder. And I'm Richard Butcher. For lunch today, on lines one, two, we'll be having pizza sticks. Line three, soup and salad bar, featuring broccoli soup. Line four will be taco snacks. And finally, line five will be Big Daddy Pizza. A happy birthday goes out to Jack McCoon. Now on over to Liz with sports. Thanks, Nick. In the Clinton Prairie and Western Boone track meet last night, the girls finished first and the boys finished second behind Weibo. Event champions include Nayeli Alanis in the 100 and 300 meter hurdles, Joe Diaz in the 400 meter dash, Blasia Salee in the 3200, Ella Myers in the shot put, Alicia Ramey in the long jump, and Zeke Vandeventer in the shot put. Their next meet is tomorrow at Harrison, which begins at 5. And a congratulations to the girls' softball team. Nothing was reported at our time, at our airtime, but we do know the girls won 7-1 and Sydney Whitaker hit a home run. And good luck to the boys' varsity baseball team, who will be competing against Harrison tonight at 6. That's it for sports. Now back to Nick and Richard. Israel Angelis was nominated January Student of the Month. Yes, we are a bit behind, but never mind that. Let's check out what Mr. Denniston had to say about Israel winning this award. My name is Matt Denniston. I'm the choral director here at the high school. I teach piano in addition to choir and some other classes. I am talking about Israel today and his win for Student of the Month. I nominated Israel, and actually, I would nominate him every month if I could. Uh, he is so deserving of this. He is uh, one of the most enthusiastic kids I've ever known and worked with. He comes to class every day ready and excited to learn. He participates. I never have to ask him to do the right thing. Another thing I really love about Israel is he is always helping others. Uh, people around him, next to him, even across the room, he's ho always helping to work them to achieve the best that they can. Obviously, he's got a great voice and he contributes a lot in that area as well. Again, Israel, a great kid, well-deserving. Congrats on Student of the Month. Congratulations on the award, Israel. On April 8th, there will be an IUK soccer workshop from 4 to 6.30 p.m. The event is open to all high school students. During the workshop, you'll be working on tech skills and passing. Then you'll finish up with a scrimmage. Space for this event is limited, so make sure to stop by and see Mrs. McGuire if you are interested. The deadline to apply for the Education After High School workshop opportunity this summer is quickly approaching as it is due in two weeks on April 12th. Have you failed a class at the high school? If so, you should be attending early summer school each day from 3 to 6 p.m. Early summer school started Monday and will go through April 29th. If you have questions, see your counselor. If you're looking for a quick way to make up a class, this is it. Student council will meet today during the community in the collaboration space. And also, an Arkansas, Arkansas police sheriff visited a hospital late Sunday to interview 50-year-old Charles Eugene Ferris, who had been shot multiple times wearing a bulletproof vest. At first, Ferris made up an elaborate story to try to cover up the truth. In fact, Ferris and 36-year-old Christopher Hicks were drinking at Ferris's home when Ferris let Hicks shoot him while wearing a bulletproof vest. Almost had yet another Darwin Award. Natural selection, where are you when we need you the most? Anyways, that wraps it up for your HGTV. Like and subscribe to support your Frankfurt High School news and to keep you updated on hot dog happenings. Ta-ta for now.